Alright guys, take two of how to get some extra XP in the Proving Grounds. Today I'm going to be playing the Black Prince, so I played a little bit differently than I did in the original video. Because the Black Prince actually has some armor, so you can actually also do this didn't fill the thing up for a little extra silver. So the first two I turn on though is this Crushing Blow, Steel Gaze, and then you have the Smell of Victory 1 that'll auto-complete on the first match. Playing the Black Prince fully upgraded. Carry 78 AP rounds, 0 APCR, 6 HE rounds, which should get you through. And same as last time, counter battle on Hummelsdorf. Mainly because you're the Black Prince, you don't really want to go chasing things around the map and something that tops out at 20 kilometers an hour. So, for this game, artillery is an M12, which can be a little pain, but it's really not that bad. The worst RD that you can have if you're trying to do this is a Crusader SP, because it is, it fires once every two shots you take, does just enough damage to be annoying, so you can't really tell if it's going to go. 50 damage or 200 damage, so it's really hard to judge whether you should shoot them or not if you're trying to ensure that you get the kills. So the first difference between this and the other previous video, going this way, and they cut down on time. No, the route is faster. You're in a medium tank. If you're in a medium tank, you can't really be sitting there taking this extra damage like I would be if I was in, let's say, the TVP. Oh, the Black Prince I can just roll right up here and not really worry about it. I angle my gun away like that, though, to make sure that I don't get shot in the gun and the gun gets damaged, because that's annoying. At the very least, annoying, and it can also cost you the 3,000 silver to fix it. But, as you can see, I pushed out the Fury here, trying to get it out of the game. But our Crusader bot there is having some issues. Go ahead and track once, so we reset its timer. Barely got away with the kill still there. Reloaded. Just for to Target catch on fire once, then it should be good. Crusader not being fully upgraded, you can just kind of ignore it. At least Enemy not Black Prince, and it's not really going to pin us unless we give it a straight up flat broadside at like point blank. So I keep a bit of an angle as much as possible. Crusader, but it just fell. And it still didn't do enough damage to kill it. Looks 
like that one went right through. Okay. No idea where that shot went. Our team just wasted an enemy. Snake appears right here between these buildings. This one I usually wait. At least when you're playing uh, Black Prince, your Looks second like friendly right tank little appears at IS2. So you want to let it get a shot in there. So you can make sure you get that kill when we got next to Jackson. About this stage, I drive over this way, I'm going to pick up that ammo. I'm not entirely sure you actually need it if you're playing the Black Prince. But it's generally a good idea to just pick it up anyway. Because you don't want to be having to come over here later when there's five, six tanks that will have a shot at you. When you're in a Black Prince. Because you're not doing this quickly. Time. But with the Black Prince, just played a little bit different. being your artillery that will run out of ammo. So at this stage, just taking advantage of the bots, you know, not moving. Just get the best angle you can on them. I 
the sun when I'm going for these shots like this. I'm trying to hit the fuel tanks, hit the engine, start a fire. I'll let the fire burn the full length before I shoot again. Just to save some ammo. Save a little bit of silver. Not a huge issue for the Black Prince. But when you're playing something that has higher ammo costs, you will appreciate the little bit of extra savings you can get. for the ammo rack here on the Tiger P. Their armor. Black Prince shells don't do a whole lot of module damage and I'm not 100% sure that the ammo rack is in this location. Like that nope, I just hit it that time, so maybe. You would think having to put, you know, 10, 11 shots to this one area, I would hit the ammo rack more than once. And that's the end of the first game, if you want to do this twice. The other alternative is if you're playing something a little bit heavier, or not as heavy. You can just turn on the first other two ops that get you the times 2 XP and one times 2 silver. But the way I do it, I'll get all of the ops done. Although, you can, if you wanted to, play, do this steel gaze twice, but usually I don't typically bother. The reason you see it already completed once today is, there's a previous chance of trying to record this video and it didn't end well. Ended up with a Crusader SP, and the Crusader SP took five of the kills, along with the Fury taking one, and the Nice 2 taking another two. So there was no way for me to complete the video in one shot. This time, since we already got the 10 kill ups, we only really need 3 kills. But you want as many as possible just to get that bit more base XP. And this is absolutely my favorite part of the Black Prince. So. Oh, I totally want to play more PvP matches in it. 20 kilometers an hour. Such a good idea. Right, so this time I have the damage blocked up on. So I'm going to make sure I try to receive at least 10 hits. Great bot aim there. Missed me completely. Which one? Two. Five. Right, coming out here. Gonna push the fury out again. I'm just kind of hook the end here because if you do push it too far forward, we'll have shots this first tank. And this first tank right here, if you kill it, that's when the IS-2 on your team will spawn. And the uh, Fury will start driving, which is not what you want. Here again, make sure to take some more shots. 
increase their block damage total. Probably up to about seven, eight hundred now. Enemy tanks in the base. Get rid of Penetration. Push the hole in their armor. Enemy vehicle eliminated. said last time. It's usually a tier 6 medium response here and you want to let the IS shoot it once. Of course you can't get unlucky. It sets it on fire or ammo exit. But plenty of time. Well sometimes the IS will miss like three times in a row and you're sitting there for an extra 30 seconds. Last video. This time, drive over with the ammo. If it's a tank with a worse gun Enemy's than right like the Firefly, you can kind of start Let's heading over one. a little bit sooner. Because you can still bounce it off the side. But with the Firefly getting the 17 pounder gun, you don't really want to be showing that it's, you know, your side to it. Because it will pin you. Enemies are capturing our base. Oh, well, I was going to sit there and wait for, you know, the RD of the eyes to shoot it, but the already one-shot it because, you know, balance. What's nice about the Judo Panther, they're gonna kill it pretty quick just because it's so tall. <sighs> I 
fun the first video, guys. I know this is kind of boring, but the nuts, 2,000 XP off the ground that I don't particularly care for, I believe it's worth 10, 15 minutes of your time each day. Because I know I would much rather spend 10 minutes here than 10 minutes being stuck bottom tier on a big gigantic map and a black prince. Also, it's a great place that if somebody comes over to your house and they seem mildly interested in playing tanks, bring to the proving grounds. Kids, family of yours, the grounds. The very least, if you're gonna let them play your higher tier tanks, let them try here first, and finally, through two videos and roughly 20 kills, we get an engine fire. As you see, I let it burn completely there. Try to save a little bit of ammo. to silver times two XP didn't break a thousand total on this win but still sorry buttons messing up let's go back around 994 XP this time I believe it was 1100 for the last game let's check real quick yep 1100 so right about 2100 for the combined XP and as you see Looks like Wargame may have bumped up the silver rewards a little bit for Urban Grounds. So I got 49,000 with the help of the Ops that game. And then 25,000 this game. So a decent amount of silver for 10 minutes. Alright guys, I'm going to cut off the video there. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps out some.